hi guys welcome back to my channel and happy new year i hope you had a great time with family and friends in today's video i'm going to show you my entire collection uh, i want to divide it into some parts because i have a lot of books i do have a total of 155 books or 156, I think, to show you. I'm going to start off with uh, Maria Trolle, and I'm going to also show you my collection and also my finished pages. So in uh, Moon Valley, this is not any particular order. I do believe I only have the one which is marked here. This one. This one is done with Black Widows. And I think that is it in this book. I haven't colored much in Maria Troller's uh, books, actually. Then we got the uh, Dream Race. It's the same as the Vivi, Söker and Ven. Vivi's Friends. I don't know what it's called in English. But I do you know this one is single sided i don't know if the swedish version is that let's see i have one in here and this is it this is mostly polychromos i think i'm trying to remember everything that i did in this book I, didn't, I need to do more Maria Trolle. And we got Luna. Here is also only one page, I think. Yeah, it's uh, this one. This one is done with polychromos. You all know how the books are, I guess. Uh, Skumring Steven. And I know these are just the ones I want to do. Let me see. This is a bigger format. I think this is the Norwegian copy. Yeah, this is the Norwegian one. And it's a bit bigger. I'm I'm not sure if the um, this version in English is the same size as Luna, but I have done one in here as well. Let's see if I can find it. And this book is falling apart, unfortunately. Unfortunately, so I need to fix that, and I can show you how to do it. Let's see here. Okay, so this one polychromos as well which are my favorite pencils. Then we got Flora. I think there's, I think there's only one in each of my Maria Trollis, I'm not sure. This one is also Polychromos. I don't think there is more. We got Botanicum, and I have done these two. Also with Polychromos. I don't think I have anything inside the book. Let me check. Too many books, too little time. And last is the Twilight Garden. I do not have the newest books. Uh, 
but that is it's on my list to to buy and in here i think it's only one in here as well this one done with ink tents and polychromos yep that's it all right let's move on to johanna bastard and this pile is more colored in i promise you so this is ivy and ink butterfly and i am trying to do this in order and i think everything is here in here is polychromos so far so this one this is not colored i need to do that there's these two i'm not a fan of this one it's like it's too much i feel like or they should at least been similar i think it's this one limited color palette and this is started in 2018 i think yeah 18 19 still 19 21 and then this one is still 19 and this is where it stopped i did get discouraged of this background because i absolutely hate this background <laughs> so i might actually do something about it so i can continue my book because this is where it stops and i don't think there's anything else no i started this in the beginning all right magical jungle here i have the nameplate this you can see those dots those are fine liners and absolutely love the effect that it gave and then we have this one polychromos i don't think there's more and i have a vip this one needs to be <laughs> i need to continue this one but uh i think it's gonna turn out great when it's finished but it's a lot of work and then I have this one, which is aqua markers. And this is Lost Ocean. Did the circle out? This is really old. I don't even have the date on it. But this is from the start date. This is 2020. I don't have many in this book, but this uh, double page spread. It's my uh, trying out different techniques. The, the, this is neo color, and I was trying out like whiting out the lines with different materials in this one. Um, then we got this one. One is old from 2018 and i think that is it this book kind of intimidates me because it's so tiny i mean that is super tiny and i would have to sharpen my pencil all the time to color in it i might do oh i loved I might do just fine liners on the super tiny stuff. Then we got the secret garden. And I have done this thing. I don't know. Oh yeah. 
here I have the white outline, but I don't have it here, so that's the only thing I'm missing. And this, oh, this is from 2016, so this is really old. One of one of the first books. We got this one, and this one. I remember being really proud of this one. Why is it falling out? This is so super tiny as well. Let's see if I find the next one. This one is inspired by Lock and Key, the Netflix show. Oh, there's one in here. One is old, 2016. This one has a lot of glitter, a lot of glitter, glitter gel pen. This was an old whip that I finished after a while. So this is probably started in 2016 and finished in 18. We got this one. This is with the um, Prisma color. 2020. Think. And this one, this one I drew in all the things because the flowers were empty inside. And I think that is it. Let's see. Oh, I have more. These two. This is um, Highlanders and it is glitter alcohol markers, which did not bleed through. It's the. Um, Winston Newton ones. Glitter. Normal aqua markers bleed through. And I don't think there is more. I need to check. Yep, yeah, that's it. Then we got Enchanted Forest. I think this is even earlier because this is really, yeah, January 2016. I used to do it really lightly. And here is also super light. Did the border here. I think I did this. Uh, Started in order at least, and this is before I actually <laughs> broke the spine. This one is um, later. This is twenty eighteen. Then we have this one. Pastels in the background and just a black pencil actually in this. This one, remember being really proud of. And also this one. Yeah. And I think that is it. Let me check. A lot of testing. I have another copy, but I don't think there's anything in that one. Yep. I have the English copy as well. All right. 30 days with creativity. And I have only done... Oh, I did the nameplate. And I also did this one recently. 
liquid paint and black widows i think i've drawn in here somewhere yeah i did some tutorials here with glass and i have started this yeah that's it so i have a few whips in there Then we got Johanna's Christmas. Really early, early, early. Well, this is 2016, I believe. Let's see. Yep. This one, uh, Neo Colors. No, I think it's in Inktons, maybe. No, Neo, Neo, it has to be Neo first. And Polychromos. This is Inktense. This one is from the recent, this December. This one is from 2022, or I did finish it in 23, but the first, <laughs> first of January. Lots of glitter. 2018. This is like a vintage vibe. Twenty eighteen as well. And that's it. Then I have How to Draw Ink Wonderlands. I don't, I haven't touched this book yet. There's basically how to draw, but there's a few things you can color, I guess. I still don't have the uh, small victories one, but I that's on my list as well. Then we got um, let's see, the English name, one Worlds of Wonder, a Norwegian copy. I have the English as well. I have colored in both of them. Let's see, we got this one where I drew in the streets. And the trees and bushes and plants. And I think all of these are different color, uh, different pencils. We got this one that I turned into a Halloween page. Have I not written down the date on this one? No. I have it in my OneNote though. Yeah, this one, I'm really proud of this one. We got this one, really colorful houses, polychromos. That's it for the Norwegian copy. Then I got the English. And I have done this one. This is washi tape. And this is paint. Rest is polychromos. I don't think there's more there. Here I made it like a cork board and and pictures, like Polaroid pictures. So this was fun. There's the house, by the way, that I turned 
into Halloween. <laughs> All right. And we got Rooms of Wonder. I don't have many in this one. I think it's only, why is this marked? Guess I wanted to do that one. I have done this one. This one took forever. Dark and light. I was trying to make it like looking like it's like flashlight showing different parts. And this is a long time dip. We use paint to cover the lines. And that's it. Now, yeah, this one as well. And it looks Christmassy. It is, it's, it's okay. All right. Then we got the last book that I have is World of Flowers. And I think I only have done the three. Only the three that is marked. I might do, I want to do this over again. I might buy another copy. <laughs> so I absolutely love this book, really. Even though I haven't colored much in it, but. It's another one. No. This one. Really like this one. The background and then there is this one pastel colors this is um the color sort pencils i think All right let's move on to rita berman okay this is the the fall book and i have only done this one with ink tones. I will show the rest of the book as well. A lot of um, patterning pages, not many scenes in, in this one. Then we got uh, the Welt unter der Lupe to Lande. And I have done this one. Polychromos. I just discovered Rita Berman, or I, I've known about her a long time, but I got my first book this year, I think, and I couldn't stop. <laughs> At first, many years ago, I thought this was not for me. Oh, this is the Africa book, and I started Africa. Um, this with Black Widows. So yeah, I didn't think that this was my type of style many years ago, but now my style has changed, so now I absolutely love it. Well, her style has changed as well, though, with the new books compared to the other series, like this one, Summer Book. This one is more patterny than this one with Black Widows. I mainly use uh, Black Widows in this book or in these books. This is not Black Widow, this is um, Polychromos. Done in Croatia. And also this one. These polychromos. All right. This is the Asian book. I think I only have done one in here. This one. 
this one. So try to do things as realistic as possible. I mean, you can't really see the details on the, this camera, but there's yeah, some of it. That's it. Then we got the spring book. This one is actually thinner than the Africa book. See the difference? This is the Africa and this is the spring book. Now, have I done any in this one? Yes, of course, this one. I absolutely love this page. It's so col colorful and bright. Really, it's really warm. It's a warm feeling. Black Widows. And that's it. Then we got the Yoruba book. And I done this one. I tried to color as Rita does it with a bunch of colors in every item. See the pink and the yellow and there's it was uh, it was was a great experience. It was hard to do it, but um we did it. Oh, this is a VIP. <laughs> then we have this one with polychromos. I think that is it. Yes. And then the last one is the winter book. And I have only done one in here, and that's this one from the recent in December. Polychromos, limited color palettes, and pastel colors instead of additional red All right that's it now let's do some hannah colson berättelse från staden bland stjärnorna as they say in swedish all right i don't have i ever colored in this But I've done one. Oh, there we go. Yep. Uh, I did this um, in May. S 16th of May. Our national day in Norway is, um, or our independence day is 17th of May. And so this is the Norwegian flag colors. And we I used to have these things in in the celebration. So. That was fitting, and I think that's it. This book. Then we got Atlantis. Only done one in this one as well. Oh, with ink tens. Look how dirty this. This has been used a lot. <laughs> I hope it's not transferring on the paper. Right. This one is the newest book, so I haven't gotten around to do more. Well, most of my books have only one page because I haven't had time to color more when I tried to reach them all. Accents do go. And um, I've done this one with intense and Polychromos, really colorful, and also this double page spread with same the same materials and glitter. I don't know if you can see it. It's really hard to show. There we go. See the flame. Right. 
definitely got the first kingdom and what i noticed is that the swedish version has like this textured you can see the texture in here you probably can hear it and this one is smooth really smooth this is the english either english or american i'm not sure gibbs smith I've done this one to test. And I also did this one. Absolutely love this book. Need to color more in it. But with my plans for this year, <laughs> well, I can do multiple pictures when I first have the book. Midnatsmaskraden. I think I only have done the first page. This one. Yep. Now moving on to the older, older books. The other series, this is Soulmate, Charles Frender. I only have done one. This one. Actually, I really like the skin here. I use purples in the shadows and really like how it turned out. Then we got Summer Night. I mean, I've been so much focused on on daydreams that I forgot about all the rest. But I'm trying to finish daydreams. This one. This was a challenge from the Coloring um, Checklist Challenge by Sammy and to use like stencil in the background or implement stencils in your coloring and i used it in the background i think that is it oh i've done this as well All right Then we got jewelry box. Do I only have one in this one as well? This was the Inktober prompt ring. This blend could have been better. <laughs> you can see the lines. You can see like where. Yeah, and also this one. This one I really like. It's, it's bright and happy. Tea. Tea the Vard, I'm um, not sure what the English name is for it. Is it time? Something about time? I, I don't know. Seasonal? I don't know, it's a seasonal one at least. We've done this one with watercolor. I just put watercolor all over the page and then I colored over it. Kind of, I think it's kind of cool though. I like the effect. Like almost looks like okay, there's like snow scene in the background, but we don't totally see it, so it's like yeah. I like the effect. Apparently I have one more over here. Right. 
right this one with the intense I really like this one and there's also I think the other thing is just polychromos and it's just the background that is intense And we got Magical Dawn or Magical Magiske Greening. This is really smooth paper. Then this one. 2020. With paint and polychromos. This is um really this is brutal. This is from 2018. That's the first time I used the um, washi tape. And this one. With pastel colors. I tried to make it look like glitter inside. bottles i press stop recording i'm sorry and then we got daydreams um now i have a flip through of because i have a lot of colorings here uh, i've done 58 colorings so i'm trying to finish it but i'm gonna quickly just flip through it like this and then you can watch the video with the full Full flip through of me being halfway done. There's a few whips in here. All right, that is it, guys. This was part one, uh, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.